What's happening out there guys? It's Roll Easy here and I'm back with another money glitch workaround for you guys. Yes, the two-player retro glitch is back. Founders Killer Gaming and J-Rock Butler 420. Shout out to you guys and the workaround finder is none other than Tudo Facile France. So shout out to those guys. Links will be in the description. And uh, yeah, two-player retro glitch guys. We call it the retro glitch, but you can dupe any vehicle you want with this. There are some requirements though. Obviously you need one friend. It's super easy though. You just need one friend but you guys must have the same bunker so if one has farmhouse the other one needs farmhouse that's the only way for this to work so link down in the comments you know like link up with people and find out who's got the same bunkers and you guys can get going with this so you guys need the same bunkers mocs with the personal vehicle storage and uh you also want to throw a fagio or an elegy inside the moc because this is a this is a merge glitch so you're going to be getting a fresh plate every time so you do not need custom plates for this all right merge glitch that's what this is okay no custom plates needed you will get a fresh clean plate on every single duplicate all right now there are some things that you know have changed up a little bit in the steps but it's still for the most part really simple and you know what that means if we have this dupe back we also have free moc upgrades which is basically like duplicating your moc so I'm going to be including all of that in this video right here. All right, so here we go. We're going to get started right about now. You want your friend to go ahead and go into his MOC, or sorry, go into his bunker and just wait. Anywhere in his bunker, it doesn't matter. Now, I didn't put a free or a free elegy or a Fagio inside my MOC, so I'm going to go ahead and do that right now. So I'm going to go ahead and put a Fagio in there, and if you've already had one in there, just run into your MOC and just chill there, okay? So I'm chilling here right now, and I'm going to go ahead and tell my friend, start up a motorcycle club and send me an invite, okay, to his MC. Okay, send me an invite to your MC, and first I have to sign out or else he won't be able to send me an invite. So he's going to go ahead and send me an invite. There it is at the bottom left. And once he sends me that, he's going to go ahead and hover over Disband MC. All right. He's going to disband it when I tell him to. Now, this is really important. We're going to hover over this and we're going to walk to the back of the trailer. Accept the invite to his MC and also exit the trailer. OK, so you kind of want to spam a and right when you see that black screen, you tell him disband right away. Timing is finicky, but you want to tell him disband right when you're on that black screen. And if done correctly, you should spawn in his bunker just like this you see there's my friend that invited me we're disband we're good all right that's how you want to do it now what you want to do now is go ahead and go over to his mechanic and you want to hit right d-pad what he's going to do is go over to his blue circle he's going to hit enter with nearby friends and crew blue circle for the moc he hits enter with nearby friends and crew and then boom i'm in a default bunker see he's spawning into his moc now so at this point you can go ahead and just kill yourself so I've killed myself right now and I'm gonna go ahead and spawn at the docks at this moment. Now you're spawning really far at the docks now for some reason, or at least I did every single time, but that's all good. So at this point, your friend wants to go ahead and exit his MOC trailer, and then he wants to jump in his MOC, drive out of his bunker, and then he wants to go to creator, all right? So he wants to leave the session completely, all right? So drive the MOC out of the bunker, friend. Friend is doing this, driving the MOC out of the bunker and then going to creator. Start online creator. All right. Now you, the person duping the car, you are going to go ahead and request your MOC. Now don't look towards that right, you know, rear side that, uh, that I'm kind of ignoring because that's where you want the MOC to spawn. So you see on the map, it just spawned there. Now go ahead and call up the car or the, whatever vehicle you want to dupe. If you see at the bottom left, my friend left right there. Rogue has left the session completely. All right. So you want to make sure he leaves the session before you try to drive into your MOC with the, with your car that you want to dupe. So here's my car we're duping. We're duping Retro Elegy Customs because they do sell for the most. This car sells for nearly a million dollars. And like I said, you do not need a fresh plate or you do not need custom plates. I have one on here, but it's just to prove to you that we're going to be getting a completely different number plate that's totally clean. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to show you guys what plate I have on it now, and that plate will change when we dupe the car. So I'm going to hit right D-pad, hit the transfer alert, you're going to get that cool cutscene. But now, every single time you do this, you get caught on this infinite black loading screen. Now, to avoid this infinite black loading screen, what you have to do is you have to invite your friend back. Alright, I should have mentioned this in the beginning, you can either be in an invite only, or you can be in a friends only session. It'll work either way. In a friends only session, your friend can just join you back when you let him know. In an invite only, you have to send your friend an invite, okay, back to the session. So, I've sent my friend an invite back to the session and he's gonna be accepting the alert. 
and he's going to be joining back. Once he's in the clouds, probably halfway to getting over here, it's going to kick you out of this infinite loading screen. That's the only way to get out of this, guys. So it's up to you whether you want a friends-only session or if you want a invite-only, all right? But you see, so he's joining up in the session now. I'm actually going to prove it to you. I was going to start the job right here, but then I wanted to show you guys that, indeed, what's going to happen is he's actually joining the session. I want to show you him fully joining the session. So look at the top left top left nobody's here and then boom now you see two and now you see boom rogue is back in the session all right there we go so now once you're on this screen we're gonna go ahead and start up a job go ahead and go to missions and tighten up a job is always the one we use seems to work fine all right so we're loading up into tighten up a job and once you get into this loading you know the loading menu basically the lobby go ahead and just simply back out and accept the uh, confirmed uh, quit alert once you've done that you are gonna spawn in your bunker just like this okay uh, sometimes your MOC is going to be in there with like an open door and it's all empty and stuff. That's all good. Just walk out of your bunker. Once you've walked out of your bunker, you will see the dupe now. The dupe will just be sitting outside the bunker. So it's changed just a little bit, but you know, that's what happens after patches and workarounds and things like that. The glitches change, but this is still working, okay? So as you can see right here, there is my car. This is the brand new duplicate and that is a fresh plate. The old car went back over wherever it came from, wherever I called it from. All right, now you want to drive into your bunker and you can return your MOC to storage before you drive in your bunker or after. I actually ended up returning it after just because I forgot to return it before. Simple, simple as that. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to spawn into my bunker right now. I'm going to realize that my MOC needs to be returned to storage. So I'm going to hit return to storage and I'm just going to simply wait. And I just want to show you guys again that this is a brand new fresh plate. Like I said, this is the duplicate. It needs to be saved. I'm going to save it right here. The original went back over to the garage that I called my uh, I called my mechanic for, okay? Wherever he brought it from. So, I've driven it into my MOC now and boom, it is saved. Simple as that. You that's how you create dupes, guys. Super easy, super simple. Now, your friend this is the free moc upgrade so this is the perspective of my friend uh, he doesn't have any upgrades on his moc as you can see right here it's a plain old moc nothing all right it's got no none of those upgrades like as you can see i'm just showing you it has no upgrades whatsoever it is a plain old moc it doesn't even have turrets unlocked now Normally, you can get turrets with this. If you look, I'm gonna leave it a, uh, a link to my old video. You know, before the uh, before they patched it, I was able to get turrets. This time, for some reason, the turrets didn't actually come onto the MOC. But usually, it does. It's just there's sometimes. I think it's when you don't have them unlocked. At times, it's just glitchy and it doesn't work. But I was able to completely duplicate everything else on the outside of the MOC uh, from my original MOC. So as you can see right now. What, uh, what Rogue is going to do is Rogue is going to go ahead and go into the MOC and it's basically reverse rolls, okay? It's the same glitch, alright? So, now, roll easy, my account, I'm going to go ahead and send Rogue an invite to my MC. So, as you can see right here, and I'm actually going to show you what happens when you fail. It is possible to fail this. So, I'm going to accept, or my friend's going to accept my invite right here to my MC. And then I'm going to go ahead and try to spam to hit exit trailer. But I actually do fail right now. And you see I spawn outside. If you spawn outside, it's okay. All that means is that you weren't able to hit exit trailer. Okay? That's all that means. So, at this point right now, I'm just going to go ahead and go back into my MOC. Alright? I'm going to go back into my MOC. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to try this again. So my friend sends me the, uh, the you know, the MC president alert. I'm going to go ahead and accept it. And then once I accept the alert... I'm going to go ahead and spam on exit trailer. Sometimes it helps to walk side to side like this. It really does help. So I'm going to accept it and then I'm just going to keep spamming A. Keep spamming A to exit trailer. You know once you've hit it, the loading screen is a little bit longer and then obviously you're going to spawn into his bunker. That's how you know that you've hit the glitch and you right when you hit that black screen, you tell your friend to disband. Right when you see the black screen, okay, you say, go ahead, disband, hurry up. All right, that's how that part works. All right, so now I'm gonna go ahead and hit on and hit right D-pad so that I can modify my bunker or modify his MOC basically. But this is his MOC, so it looks like I'm modifying his MOC. All you want to do now is go ahead and and switch one thing. Just modify one thing on the cab, modify one thing on the trailer. So on the cab, I'm just gonna modify the tint, and then on the trailer, I'm just gonna go ahead and modify. Uh, let's just say you know the plate. All right, go ahead and put the plate. As you can see, the turrets aren't there anymore. So 
in my case the turret did kind of come off I noticed that right here that's why it took me a little bit of time to switch but I didn't think it was a big deal I still did get all the other upgrades so the weapons did not work I do believe it's because I didn't have them unlocked and so, for some people it works for some people it doesn't okay when I did this with my other character uh, it worked perfectly so and I got the turrets and everything so once you've gotten your friends upgrades walk out of his bunker walk back into your bunker as you can see his MOC has duplicated in you know over to mine uh, right here I have every single thing that he has check it out all the upgrades every single one of those upgrades the only thing I didn't get is the turrets but I have every single other thing so that's a lot of money that I saved right there you know not having to upgrade my MOC it's got the armor it's got all the suspension the brakes you know the turbo tuning the armor it has all of it okay even his paint jobs it has the, the livery you know the cool stuff that costs a lot of money so I was able to, to, you know, duplicate the MOC and get all that stuff from him. The only thing were the turrets. The turrets did not cross over, but usually they do. Like I said, I'll leave a link to my other video in the description and in the pinned comment. Okay? So, yeah, at this point, once you've done that and once you've checked to see all your new upgrades and stuff, if you want, go ahead and change one little thing on the cab and the trailer just to make sure that it will stick. And I say go ahead and drive it out of your bunker and then drive it back in just to really make sure that it saves. Okay? Really happy we got this back, guys. Take advantage of it now. We got two money glitches working. Give cards to friends. I'll leave a link for that in the description in the pinned comment as well. I posted that yesterday. Uh, have fun with the new Doomsday DLC. Make some money with Heist. Uh, you know, and do these glitches, guys. All right? My name's Roll Easy. Hope you guys learned something from this video. If you're new, make sure to subscribe by hitting that big red button. Uh, turn on post notifications. Drop a like down on this video for the freshest and most informative dope GTA 5 online content. Peace out, everybody. Have a great day.